Well, greetings, friends around the world. I usually try to update you on some relevant things and sadly relevant, terrible theological mistakes that various theologians and uh, churches of God make in their teachings. One of them happened on September 18, 2022, when World Net Daily reported finally emerging the beast, mark, and number of the beast revealed. And then it says, but for thousands of years, millions of Christians have been intrigued by mysterious scriptures discussing the beast, the number of the beast, and mark of the beast. But what do these cryptic terms really mean? And then they mention Joe Kovach said at the outset, at the outset, a lot of prophet people tense up in, exi- in anxiety when they hear the term beast. There is no reason to fear. The beasts are, in metaphorical fashion, mankind. It says it outright, a man is like the beast. And then uh, he continues, and then uh, he says, among other things, so we are the beast. It's that simple. It's not, it's just not in the Bible. It's in regular conversation. People are called beasts all the time, he noted, such as uh, when parents call their children kids, which are young beasts. Our sport teams are listed as lions and tigers and bears and so on. (coughs) Then he mentions about the number. If anyone in rebellion against God, whether it is a government which is made up of mankind or an individual person that is the beast, we can see more proof when we talk about the number of the beast which is found in Revelation 13, 18. Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast. For it is number of a man. And he says man, you know, emboldened. His number is 666. Now he continues, why is the number 666? That's a fascinating question, uh, Joe Kovac says. Well, that uh, what day of the week was mankind made on? He was on the sixth day, the, the person who uh, interviews him responded. And we are told to do our work in how many days? Kovac asked six days, the intervie- interviewer uh, uh, answered. Six days, Kovac confirmed. This is not hard for people to understand. Everybody knows that mankind was married on the sixth day. Our work was to be done in six days. It's repeated though three times, six and six and six. Why is it repeated? Because it's what I mentioned early on about Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There are three days involved here, three times. If you are in rebellion against God in the past, the present, or in the future, you have the number of the beast because six is... That number of men in rebellion against God, and it is as simple as that. Uh, then he says, uh, let's look at Revelation 14, verses 9 and 10. It says, if anyone worships the beast and, ha- and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he will also drink the wine of God's wrath. Well, these were the excerpts from this, this interview of World News Daily. Uh, about the emerging beast, the number and the uh, and the uh, number of the beast and uh, the nature of the beast. Well, I have to point out, dear friends, that several of above positions by Joe Kovac are wrong in so many ways. Well, with number six six six, in the Greek, it is not three sixes like Joe Kovac is pushing. It is six hundred sixty. And six. And regarding this six six six, the Bible teaches the following Revelation thirteen eighteen, and we'll repeat it what he said. Here is a wisdom, here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it. It is the number of a man, his number is six six six. So the first writing that have been found that suggests that a Roman or a or a Roman Empire is six 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 was by Irenaeus one of the so-called church fathers, who claimed to have listened to Polycarp when he, Irenaeus, was a young man. And here is what Irenaeus wrote. He writes in uh, in uh, Adversus Heresies against the Heretics, book 5, chapter 30, verse 3. Then also Lateinus has the number 666, and it is a very probable solution, this being the name of the last kingdom of the four seen by Daniel. For the Latins or Latinos are they who at present bear rule. This is what Irenaeus wrote. And the New Testament was written in Greek and John penned the book of Revelation on the Greek speaking island of Patmos, which we see in Revelation 1 verse 9. 
They still speak Greek there. Anyway, adding up the values of the Greek letters for the word Latinos brings us to 666. L, Lambda, 30. A, 1, Alpha. T, 300, Tau. E, Epsilon, 5. E, I, or Yota, uh, equals 10. N, or Nu, equals 50. O, Omicron equals 70 and S sigma equals 200. When you add up all those values of those numbers in Greek for the Latins, Latinos, you get, you, we get 666. And this is consistent with what the, what the uh, Church of God taught in the last century. And here is a quote from Keith Stump, just what do you mean Antichrist, published in, on September 1981 in The Plain Truth. He says, in the second century A.D., Irenaeus, disciple of Polycarp, the apostle John's disciple, explained that in Greek the word Latinos, meaning Latin men or Roman, adds up to 666. And then he lists the uh, the uh, numeric uh, value of all of those all of all of those letters, and he gets 666. We just listed the uh, numeric value. So this says uh, Keith Thumb, this he stated was the intent of the scripture. The number 666 is thus anciently branded on the old Roman Empire and its revivals. So specifically, friends, 660 and 6 is the number of the first beast in Revelation 13, as distinguished from the Antichrist, who is the second beast of Revelation 13. The Antichrist is the two-horned beast, and as Revelation 13 shows, the two-horned beast works with and promotes the seven-headed and ten-horned first beast in chapter 13 of Revelation. Please understand that the leader of the ten-horned beast of Revelation 13 verses 1 through 10 and the one called 666 in Revelation 13 verse 10 is also the one who is the final king of the north as he is called in the book of Daniel. He is also called by the Apostle Paul, the men of sin in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Now, what about Joe Kovacs' claim that the beast simply represents all humankind? Well, that is also absurd. Notice Revelation 13. What the Revelation 13 speaks about the beast? It says, Revelation 13, 1, Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on, its, on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard, his feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world marveled and followed the beast. Followed the beast. So all the world made up of humankind followed the beast. So it's absurd to claim that the beast represents all humankind. Verse 4, so they worshipped the dragon who gave authority to the beast and they worshipped the beast saying who is like the beast who is able to make war with him. Verse 5, and he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. He was giving a mouth. It's not all mankind was given given a mouth. So he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And he was given authority to continue for 42 months. Then he opened his mouth in verse 6. In blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle and those who dwell in heaven. And then it goes all the way down to... Uh, uh, verse 10. Well, shall we read it? Okay, let's read it. It was granted to him, verse 7. Again, it was granted to him, to him, to him, to him. It's not to all mankind. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has a ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints now so this was Revelation 13 verse 1 through 10 so the saints are against the beast so it cannot be all humankind beast cannot be all humankind because it's all humankind that would include the saints it's absurd which it's absurd what Joe Kovacs you know claims and sadly you know, the absurd has been going on for some time the beast represents various world empires and in the end time will be led by a specific man Consider 
you know, what I've just written, what I've just written from Revelation. And we clearly saw that all those references in Revelation, they're referring to an individual, not to all of humankind. Also, please notice in Revelation 17, verse 12 and 13, the ten horns which you saw are what? The all humankind? No. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have received no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings with the beast. These are of one mind and they will give their power and authority to the beast. So again, this proves the beast to come is an individual man, which also proves that Joe Kovacs, sadly, and all those who may think like he does, are wrong. And sadly, World News Daily has a history of promoting those who misunderstand and falsely teach about Bible prophecy. Like the Greco-Roman Catholics who teach against the millennium, Protestants are often improperly, uh, uh, they often improperly allegorize scripture. Those who do so will not understand biblical prophecies and will not take the steps that the Bible says they sh- that they should. So do not be misled by Joe Kovac, by World News Daily or other who will not teach what the Bible teaches. Until next time, goodbye friends.